Okay, well we're here sitting around the kitchen table with the gorgeous Polly Higgins and um, we really want you guys out there to get to grips with the word ecocide. Ecocide, ecocide, ecocide. <laughs> Let's go from there. You've heard of genocide, mm -hmm. infanticide, pesticide. Sadly, yes. Um, and ecocide is the extensive destruction, damage or, or loss of ecosystems. I want to see ecocide recognised internationally in law. <laughs> Earth. Did you become an international planetary rights lawyer? I was a barrister practicing in, in a London court one, one afternoon and got to a point and I thought I'm representing a person whose case I don't believe in. Um, I'm in front of a judge that I don't like. <laughs> and I said, okay, um, I'm going to take on one client. So I've had enough of lots of clients. I, and that one client is the planet. And how's your uh, client faring at the moment? She has great stamina but she is suffering somewhat. Mm. So the idea is that if you create this term ecocide, mm. it then becomes something you can charge people with effectively. Yeah, we have four international laws that we can charge with, and that's genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity, yeah. crimes of aggression. We need to add ecocide, because this is ultimately about peace. It's about peaceful enjoyment of the planet. Is it not going to be a difficult thing to prove certain evidence of these crimes. Obviously in the news recently we've had allegations from the Met Office of the um, Climate Change Department at the University of East Anglia about tampering with test results. I'm not talking about measurements here, I'm talking right. about ascertainable outcomes. What happens in, in the Amazon at the moment is that an illegal logging company comes in, they go in there, they log, uh, they subcontract out to the next company to come in to plant a monocrop, they use heavy chemicals, pesticides, that creates soil depletion um, with water runoff when it rains, it then poisons the local waterways which kills the fish, which then creates havoc for local displaced communities who used to live there. What we have there is a whole kind of cycle of abuse, but we need to really get to grips with this new language. We need a new language to understand these new problems. Language helps shape our consciousness, our understanding. And if we start to blog about it, we start to you know, write about it, yeah. get it put into the Webster's Dictionary or whatever, you know, the exactly. Oxford English. It almost that seems like almost too simple to bring in a new language. If you think back 65 years ago, after World War II, we had to think up new words then to deal with the horrors of the Holocaust. And it was a guy called Raphael Lemkin who came up with the term genocide. Mm -hmm. And he literally, he went around the world demanding that that word be recognized. And within four years, that was made international law. One of the quickest and fastest ways that we can change international laws and make this happen is that people start calling for this to be recognized as a crime. Yeah. Um, and also calling upon the corporations that are creating this damage to take responsibility. I'd like to know who these corporations are. Yeah. One of the biggest ecocide hotspots on the planet is the Athabasca tar sands in Canada. And the major corporations that are in there are Shell and BP. Now this isn't normal extraction of oil, it's dirty extraction. For one barrel of oil you get 27 barrels on a normal drilling rig or whatever. For one barrel of oil from tar sands, you get three. Yeah. So it's incredibly wasteful, isn't it? Very wasteful. I mean, do you think that if you can succeed with one corporation in saying you are breaking the law by doing this, do you think the other 29 will start doing the right thing? Corporations like legislation. It gives them the boundaries from which they need to work within. It also allows them to shout very loudly for subsidies <laughs> to go and reinvent their wheels. $350 billion per annum are put into fossil fuel extraction anyway. Yeah. Pull those and put that into clean energy. So what you're asking people, our viewers, to do is to create a wave of emotion here. Mm. Mm. How can they get to be part of this wave? Well, you can sign up at the website. That's treeshaverights2.com. I also check out theworstpolluted.org. That gives you a very good idea of who's out there doing what damage. 
Well, Polly, I just want to say thanks so much for that because it's made me more insightful about it all and I hope the viewers more insightful. So what we've got to do is just think the word yes. ecocide. Get ecocide. Everybody say ecocide. Say ecocide. Ecocide. Very good. Understand Everybody say ecocide and, and go to the website as well, treeshaverights2.com. Thanks, Polly. Thanks, Polly. Thank you. Well it's done. been a delight. <laughs> Thank you. You're gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs>